So I figured um, <clears throat> I got a request or two about like this kind of stuff and the lighting setups that let me just go ahead and turn this on for you. These kind of lighting setups that um, are a bit more common in the whole like makeup industry or a lot of these commercial kind of renders and not in the more artsy ones. Um, and it's super simple. And I want to go ahead and just show you how simple it can get. Maybe you can pick up some tricks in terms of lighting values, beam shapes, and stuff like that. So, first things first, I'm going to break out of here. My computer can only handle so much. Now, the lighting setup, let's cover that. Pretty much what I have here is a few things. So, let's actually let's break this in half here. One of these will be our our render view and the other will not let's just make this over here okay so i have two lights that are pretty much kind of filling up the scene and then i have a background light so if you take the two lights that i have here now group if i turn them off you see now you just have the background lights i believe that's all it is yeah pretty much so there's only three lights going on here and you see only the background is lit. Turn them on. What these two are are pretty much area lights. Um, <clears throat> and I've done a little bit of things with them. So if you're on cycles, this is the only way to get the spread value, by the way, is on cycles. So I have the spread turned down to like about five. Now I'm going to just, just show one. Uh, not this one. Let's show this one. So I have one pretty aggressively in terms of beams, so this is about five, which is like you get those hard lines you can see right here. You turn it up, those lines disappear, and now it's just kind of like <coughs> a more wide area, not as focused. I'm gonna turn this back to five, and I and I brought one aggressive light in because I wanted to have some sort of like that contrast, you know what I mean? And then I believe the light next to it is a lot less harsh. A bit more of like a fill kind of structure. So you see the spread 78. If I turn this to 5, now we're getting a bit too, like the lines are a bit too dramatic. Looks good still, but I personally just went with a more casual kind of fill just to make sure you could see the object still. One of the juiciest things. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about the colors too. Then I'll tell you about that background light. So the colors, <clears throat> I highly suggest for your light, start to use nodes. So just turn on the nodes when you have the light. And it's pretty simple. I can just kind of create a new one right here for you. Go to area. And you just click this use nodes button. And now you're back in. And the way I like to use nodes is I'll connect a black body to the color, which gives you a more like realistic kind of photo studio kind of light and look at that it's already looking pretty pretty interesting just with like and then you turn it if you crank it up so let's do 20k it's a bit more of that blue-ish kind of light which is cool sometimes i like to mess around with the hue but i don't suggest that too much so that's that the last thing is this um background light so let's go ahead and hide these things and let's just view this background light so pretty much this is the area light as well just scaled up on the x-axis so make sure it's pretty horizontal and you see the spread here is pretty open and I think I just cranked up the strength quite a bit so the way this works I'm just gonna disconnect this and you can see like from here we get any light you'd like to it's great to have those like nice aggressive uh, colors if you crank down the spread, you get the gradient kind of starts to fade away a little bit. But the light is pretty much um, completely perpendicular, like just a complete 90, 180 degree angle. So it's just shooting straight up. I don't have it facing the wall. It's just like, imagine if you had a light behind me right now, like there's a light behind me in my camera and I just have that there. It's pretty cool how you can like fuck with lights. And then if you turn on these fill lights. Oh. 
and you see like you can still see the stuff and now it's, it's not blending as well but it's something so I'm gonna turn these back on let me connect this one <coughs> and that's pretty much it so to recap this we get one light in the background and then two lights kind of on the left hand and on the right hand sometimes some people would have a fill light kind of front and center but for this one I wanted really dramatic uh, lighting angles and that's pretty much how I set up most of these scenes so I'll see y'all around uh, thanks for supporting me on the internet um, hopefully we can continue to share these resources and grow because community is small and you know it only goes forward when each of us share a little bit more I'll see y'all peace